Hi, this is Romeo Caparasso from Tax Accounting Adelaide and uh, we're just about coming into tax season 2019 and I'm just going to go through what's going to be new for the tax returns in 2019 and all the changes to the tax returns in 2019. So 2019 is not going to go down as one of the biggest changing in terms of individual tax returns. There's been some changes to uh, individual tax rates uh, Medicare levy thresholds, um, all of which you'll just see as on your notice of assessment. You won't have to change anything there, but that's also interesting to know. Also, the HECS or uh, Higher Education Loan Program, uh, the, the threshold b before you begin to pay that has reduced to uh, nearly uh, $52,000 and it was previously fifty-five. dollars so you may pay, uh, more Australians are going to pay back their HEX. Um, there's also uh, the instant and immediate tax deduction for assets for small business uh, has been raised uh, to 30,000 uh, and that will be from the 2nd of April to the 30th of June 2010, so when it's ready and installed. Um, now, just want to talk about will the ATO be more severe in checking your claims this year? Um, yeah, so an interesting change has been that in 2019 when you lodge your tax return, all the information, you'll need to provide details of how you claim your work related expenses and that's actually going to be sent in with the tax return. So previously you used to, in 2018, you may have used a worksheet to, to come up with your, your deductions D1 to D5, which is your work-related expenses, but that wasn't actually sent to the ATO. This year they're actually going to see all those workings of how you've calculated that, and that's giving them more information to scrutinise how you've done your work-related expense deductions. So I'm expecting they may check more receipts this year, so make sure you keep your receipts for five years, make sure they're valid, and uh, your tax agent obviously should know what to claim you and keep your balance right make sure there's a, a, a nexus or a relationship of the deduction to your work and also that you've got the deductions as well and the receipts as well um, so I just want to say that the trend is continuing that more and more of the information you need for your tax return is only available online so you're not going to get stuff in the mail as much as you used to say 10 years ago. We saw last year my, you had to have MyGov or use the tax agent's ATO portal to get your Centrelink information. That will continue but even more things are going down that road such as hospital cover, some, some, some hospital cover funds uh, will only be available online and not sending the, the, the mail ones anymore and you'll have to go to your tax agent or it'll be on, uh, available online onto their portals as well. And with single tax payroll coming in over the next financial year, the, the same will be, con the trend will continue. You won't even get payment summaries in the following years. Uh, I also want to talk about taking care if you're lodging really early in July. So lodging in really early in July may increase your risk of getting it wrong. And the reason for that is a, a lot of, a lot of the, the federal government legislation of new tax changes hasn't even been uh, enacted yet so it, this may end up meaning that if you lodge really early in July the ATO will have to once this this legislation is passed revise your assessment and and give you a changed notice of assessment also if you lodge really early you may not have all the information online yet so you can go to your tax agent or look in your MyGov, but some of the information may not actually be there. For instance, some of the payment summaries may not have arrived yet. Some of the bank interest information may not be there yet. Centrelink income may not immediately be there yet. Uh, investment incomes and, and managed investment incomes may not be there yet, as well as some hospital tax statements may not be there until later in July or, or, or through August. So if you're lodging early, you've got to make sure that you can collate all this information basically manually on your own uh, and, and so you don't rely on any of the, the pre-fills or information on MyGov because they may not be accurate yet. And if you do omit something, it may result in the ATO later amending your tax return and telling you to pay extra taxes. So that, that may be you know, undesired and, and you know, 
nothing worse than missing out some income and you get uh, an amended notice of assessment from the ATO telling you you missed some income out and here's the extra tax. So if you're not really certain that you've got all the information you need, just consider doing it later when all the information is online and more accurate and easier to find for you to do. So don't maybe rush into doing it in July if you think that you don't have all the information. Maybe leave it till after August and, and after that. Yeah, so that's a little bit about the tax changes this year. Of course, you if you're wanting an account on your side for tax minimisation, making sure you're staying out of trouble, but also keeping you uh, being able to claim all your legitimate claims and even giving you some new ideas, you can book in with us. So we're available to book in online at taxaccountingadelaide.com or if you see our page on uh, what's new in this year, um, or you can call us on 8223 or visit our website taxaccountingadelaide.com. Thank you. Bye.